After Joffrey's death, Dantos Hollard delivers Sansa Stark to Lord Bellish's ship. After Sansa climbs aboard, Dantos reminds Lord Bellish about his payment. Bellish snaps his fingers, and crossbowmen kill Dantos. Bellish takes off Sansa's necklace, which he made himself, and throws it overboard, landing on Dantos's body. Still sailing, Lord Bellish approaches Sansa at her cabin and tells her that they are on their way to the Vale where she will be safe. Sansa accuses him of killing Joffrey. He tries to deny it at first, but Sansa knows that he had something to do with the murder because getting her out of King's Landing was part of the plan. He admits it, telling her about the poison in the necklace, and states that Joffrey couldn't be trusted and had to be removed. Because Bellish has been away for a while, he would never be suspected, and the whole purpose of the murder was to confuse the Lannisters, which his new friend, Lady Olena, wanted very badly. Littlefinger and Sansa, now pretending to be his niece Elaine, pass the bloody gate and make their ascent to the Airy, where they meet Lisa Aaron and her son, Lord Robin. After Sansa is acquainted with the two of them and is told that no one can know about her presence, Robin takes her to her chambers. Bellish is left alone with Lisa, who kisses him and tells him she wants to marry him immediately. He is reluctant at first and wants to inform the Lords of the Vale about the ceremony, but Lisa says that they already had their wedding night long ago. She then asks him what wife would do for him the things she had done for him, including poisoning her husband's wine, thus killing him, and then writing a letter to her sister Caitlin claiming it had been the Lannisters who did it, all of this at Littlefinger's behest. He starts to kiss her before anyone can overhear her. Although Littlefinger states he will inform a Septon the following day, Lisa then brings one into the hall to wed them immediately and says that she will scream loudly as her husband, Lord Bellish, is making love to her that night even being able to her across the narrow sea. She keeps her promise, much to Sansa's annoyance. The next day, after Sansa slaps Robin for ruining the snow castle of Winterfell she made in the Ares courtyard, Littlefinger approaches her and calms her down, stating that Robin should have been disciplined by his mother long ago and that he will deal with Lisa. When Sansa states she will never see Winterfell again, he counters that a lot can happen between now and never, and that she must demolish her old home if she wants to build one anew. Sansa insists to know why he killed Joffrey. He answers that he did it out of love for Sansa's mother. He adds that in a different world she might have been his child. He dismisses the notion and states she's more beautiful than Caitlyn ever was. He kisses Sansa afterward. Later, Petter prevents Lisa from throwing Sansa out of the moon door after she saw the kiss. After, Lisa is more subdued. Petter tells her he has always loved only one woman, her sister. He then pushes Lisa out of the moon door. Following Lisa's death, Petter Bellish is questioned by Lord Yon Royce, Lady Anya Wainwood, and Esser Vance Corbray about Lisa's death, which he claims was suicide. The lords don't believe him, given Lisa's devotion to her son. They rebuff Littlefinger's explanations in favor of speaking with the only other witness, his niece, Elaine. Bellish is noticeably concerned after they reveal that they will not allow him to speak to her prior to her testimony so they can hear the unadulterated truth. However, after confirming that Bellish can stay for her testimony, Elaine reveals her true identity, the tale of her captivity and flight from King's Landing. She then speaks of Lisa's mental instability, jealousy, and death, changing only a few details, saying Littlefinger only kissed her on the cheek and that Lisa did throw herself from the moon door. Sansa breaks down in tears and the lords are convinced, but while none of them are looking, she gives Littlefinger a stony, almost triumphant gaze. Following the questioning, Petter admonishes the lords for hiding away in the Vale during the War of the Five Kings, questioning their loyalty because they refused Caitlyn Stark's plea for assistance in the conflict against the Lannisters. When asked who he thinks they should back, he responds that they should back Robin Aaron, Lord of the Vale. When the lords scoff at his suggestion, Claiming that Robin is just a sickly boy, Petter responds by declaring that even sickly little boys can become powerful men, and that it is time for young Robin to leave the nest. The boy, he claims, needs to learn to ride a horse, to swing a sword, and to become the lord the Vale needs. He offers to take Lord Robin on a tour of the Vale in order for him to become acquainted with his domains, a request that the lords agree to. Later, Bellish visits Sansa and asks why she lied on his behalf. Without looking up from the dress she is mending, Sansa explains that she has no idea what Royce, Corbray, and Wainwood would want from her if he were eliminated, but that she does know what it is he wants. 
Littlefinger seems impressed that she made such a calculating decision, but attempts to cast doubt on her certainty. Sansa doesn't take the bait. Later on, Bellish and Robin stand in the high hall, preparing to depart for their tour of the Vale. Robin expresses his uncertainty about leaving the Airy, echoing his mother's words that the outside world is a dangerous place where he could die. Petter calms his fears by stating that people die from everyday causes, and that instead of worrying about his inevitable death to spend time focusing on his life, which lays before him. At that moment, a raven-haired Sansa appears at the top of the stairs in a feathered black dress with a plunging neckline. Petter stares at her intently, clearly intrigued and pleased by her recent transformation, and she returns his smile knowingly.